Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. Today's verse, it comes to us from the gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 and 2, a well-known portion of the Lord's Sermon on the Mount. Uh, maybe as we look at it, maybe it's not so well-known. Verse, uh, verse 1 and 2 of chapter 7, it says this, Judge not that you not be judged, for with what judgment you judge, you will be judged, and will the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. It seems that people who have never read the Bible are so familiar with verse one. That is, do not judge. And so they use that as a cloak, as a means to cover whatever behavior, whatever things that they're doing. But did Jesus really mean that anything goes? Did Jesus really mean that we're not to have moral and righteous evaluations of another person's behavior? as clearly stated elsewhere in scripture, such as in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 3 to 5 and verses uh, 12 and 13. There are occasions when valued judgments, evaluations, or assessments have to be made. Now, this verse is not prohibiting that. No, the word judge here, it means to criticize, condemn, censor, etc. It is the idea of fault finding with malicious intent. It has been overly picky and not applying the same standard of judgment to oneself. In other words, it's as if the beam in the criticizer's eye is much larger than the speck in the eye of the one that is being judged. You know, there are several reasons why people tend to judge and criticize in this manner. Criticism boost our own image of ourselves by tearing someone else down. It makes us seem just a little bit better, at least in our own eyes. It adds to our own pride and ego and self-image. Criticism for some is just simply enjoyed. I mean, there are people that take great pleasure in hearing about the bad news or sharing uh, the shortcomings of another person. Criticism tends to make us feel that our lives, our behavior is so much better than another person who has failed. Criticism helps us to justify the decisions and the things that we have done throughout our lives. We rationalize our decisions, our actions, our behaviors by comparing ourselves and pointing out the failures of others. Criticism can be an outlet for hurt and revenge. You know, people say, well, he hurt me. He deserves to be hurt too. So we criticize the person who has failed. But listen and know this. If that's the kind of judging that you're doing, trying to find fault in another, kicking them while they are down, being critical and condemning the same standard, the same measurement that you use against another person will be applied to you. And listen, the judge is not another person. The judge is God. Mm, see love. <laughs> Think about this. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would have a great day. Have a wonderful day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yeah. As we consider today's verse. Amen.